Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Friday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're in Psalm 105 and verse 4 reading from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you are the God who searches us and knows us better than we know ourselves. And so Lord, we come to you this day eager to hear from you eager to pause and reflect on your word and to hear a word of encouragement from you. And so, God, as we come, we pray that you would quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray. Amen. So, Psalm 105, verse 4. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. This word from the psalm is a word of encouragement, a word of um, encouragement for us to continually seek the Lord. This verse falls within a very long psalm that, that really uh, lays out the story of God's provision and deliverance of his people. It tells the story of how God worked in a mighty and powerful way to save his people. But it begins with searching for the, for the Lord and for his strength. And so often we, we turn to the Lord as the last resort, not the first resort. Not, the Lord isn't our first option. So often we say, well, you know, uh, we can handle this on our own. We can do this on our own. We don't need to bother, bother God with this. We can deal with it. But the reality is, God wants us to come to him with our issues, with our concerns, our cares, our troubles, our trials, our challenges. He wants us to seek him because he has promised to give us strength. Strength for the day, our daily bread, to provide abundantly for us according to our need. And he has shown himself faithful throughout the generations. He has provided abundantly according to our need. And so the psalmist says, search for the Lord and for his strength. God doesn't provide us with things, necessarily. But he does provide us with strength and with courage and with protection and with wisdom. He provides us with a compassionate heart and a giving spirit. He provides us with love to share with, with those around us, to love our neighbors as ourselves. He provides us with Holy Spirit who fans into flames the spiritual gifts that Paul refers to in Galatians chapter 5. Love, peace, joy gentleness, self-control, and so on. And he gives us strength when we seek him. Strength for the day, courage for the day. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. As Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, Seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you, added unto you, provided to you by our loving Heavenly Father. Seek the kingdom, and he will meet our needs on earth. Seek the kingdom, and he will provide abundantly according to our needs. Continually seek him. 
Friends, this is a simple verse in God's Word, buried within this psalm, which, which recounts the provision of God. The very next verse says, Remember the wonders He has performed. We are living testimonies to the wonders God has performed in our own lives. And when we seek the Lord, we will find him. We have that assurance, that promise in God's word, in Jeremiah. God says, I will be found when you seek me with your whole heart. So friends, I don't know what it is you're facing this day. But I do know the one who is eager and willing and ready to help you with whatever it is you're facing. That when you seek him with your whole heart, he will give you the strength and the courage and the wisdom to deal with whatever it is you're facing. He will give you the words to speak, words of life, words of grace. He will shower you with love to share with others. And he will lead you in the way everlasting. And so, so friends, I encourage you, continually seek him in everything that you do. And know that he will be found when you seek him with your whole heart. And he will pour out his peace upon you. And that, friends, is more precious than gold, more precious than anything that the world can provide. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for your continually providing abundantly for us. We thank you, Lord, for meeting us where we are in the midst of life. For helping us, for giving us strength. For pouring out your wisdom and your love upon us. Jesus, we thank you that you came to dwell among us and indeed to give your life a sacrifice for ours in order that we could have an intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. And so, God, we pray that you will place your hedge of protection around us, that you will grant us your strength for this day, Lord, that you will lead us in the way everlasting and that we will bring glory to your holy name as we lift high the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We praise you and worship you and adore you. And we pray that you will continue to make your face shine before us, that you'll go before us and behind us. And that, you, that you will lead us in the way we should go, that we may walk humbly with you this day and every day. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. And as we are at the end of another week, I want to encourage you to, if you are able to, to worship in your local church. And if you're not able to or not comfortable yet, I invite you to join us on our live stream on this YouTube channel on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We'd be delighted to have you join us. We are, of course, worshiping in person. And if you would like to, if you are comfortable uh, worshiping in person, we'd love to have you join us here uh, on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And so, friends, have a blessed weekend. Stay safe. Be kind, love generously, just as the Lord has loved you generously and continues to love you now, even still. And so, friends, have a blessed weekend. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. And all God's people said together, Amen. Amen. Well, friends, have a great weekend. It's a long weekend. I hope that uh, you have a wonderful uh, weekend together with family and friends. And we'll see you next Tuesday as we unpack more verses from God's Word. Bye for now.